After I've eaten this flapjack, I'm eating nothing but Whole Foods for a week. I'm gonna be dreaming about this. These are my favorite things in the world. How perfect. Amelia, who I follow, Amelia Sutton, has just posted a banana bread recipe that's Whole Foods. What I mean by only eating whole foods is I'm only eating foods with one ingredient in, but like I can make a dish out of them. I might go this approach 80-20%, so like if it has three ingredients but it's still all natural ingredients, then I'll probably allow myself to have it, mainly dark chocolate, just because I want it to be not restrictive or like a bit enjoyable. Obviously it is going to be restrictive because if you know me, my diet is 80 Mm, maybe not, maybe 50-50 and I do have processed food. I believe you can have any food you want and if you eat balanced, you can enjoy all food. And the hardest thing about this challenge for me is going to be no protein bars because I love a protein bar and no going out for food with like my friends because it won't be whole foods. They'll add sauces with loads of ingredients, etc. This will hopefully make me in day-to-day -day life eat a bit more nutritious and less additives and preservatives and less ready meals. And hopefully we'll get me cooking more. Let's go make our first breakfast. What am I having for breakfast? What? Steak. Steak for breakfast? Yeah. I'm only eating whole foods this week, Dad. So I'm going to be saying bye to these. And hello to these. My calories are going to be so much higher this week because everything that I normally like, them low calorie flavour drops that are just sweeteners, are going to be like honey, syrup, peanut butter. Also got all these which are just them ingredients. Take this dish. One, two, three, four, no, three, four. Two eggs, two egg whites. We're gonna add some cottage cheese. Oh no, that stinks. Veg, black pepper, basil. We're gonna have a steak. Let me just look at the ingredients on this. Oh my god, it has loads in. I can't use that. I can't use swear light. That is not the right one. Oh, I really don't even think I like steak. Avocado. Oh, oh my god, as if I got it open. There's no way. I was expecting to struggle. Some salt, some avocado. My eggs aren't working in the air fryer, so I'm just gonna fry them, I think. Are we cooking? This breakfast might look amazing, but it's gonna be hell for me because I am a sweet tooth gal. This is all savory. I'll just say, I don't actually think I like steak, but we're gonna give it a go. I'm scared to I, I'm scared to cut it. I don't know how to cook steak either. I wanted it so then I didn't see any juice. Like I don't want blood. Oh no, I can see blood. Seems like it's gonna be chewy. No, I don't like steak. I've had to spit that a little bit out. I swear it was all fat. I'm so sorry. Maybe that's better. The one I've tried with my brothers weren't bad, but this. Well, my brother cooks taste like quite nice, so why? Oh my god. That bit's quite nice, actually. I'm gonna try the eggs. This is cottage cheese and eggs and pepper and tomatoes. Solid. And then, avocado. I'm gonna get some with the Himalayan salt on. That literally tastes nothing. Like, it, that is the te perfect texture for me, though. The eggs is by far my favourite part. I don't know why this has just occurred to me, but my favourite thing from when I go to this healthy eating place called Lean Kitchen is the steak wrap. But this is, like, giving me DVGBs. I'm going to be wham after this. This is what remains. Some steak and 
for a little, little bits of avocado. I tell you what, I am really full though. I mean, I did have the flapjack this morning as well, but we're not counting that. This is after. Something else that's going to be very hard in this challenge. We keep sweets here and every single day I will come and just whenever I'm downstairs, just grab a sweet. I can't do that this week and I actually don't don't think I understand how much that is going to like, like affect me. And like, I just need some sweet, so I just grab a sweet and then go and then I'll just, I, I don't know. It helped me with when I was binging. I used to just open a bag of sweets and just throughout the day have one, even if I didn't want it because it would help me. And now I'm just used to just going in there and grabbing a sweet and not even tracking it. But I've literally just thought, why don't I just have fruit as my little sweets? Am I stupid? I'm just going to be snacking on fruit constantly. I need to tidy my breakfast away, but can I just say, this breakfast was like over a thousand calories, where my normal breakfast is like 400 calories for like my oats. So this week is going to be a lot of gains, a lot of calories, because every single meal I've planned is quite high in calories. This is cheating, and I'm sorry, but I am drinking cordial, mainly because at this point in my life, I'm on a Pepsi Max detox, and I was addicted to Pepsi Max, and I literally got, like, it's bad. Basically, I need some sort of liquid flavour, which is, like, bad. I know it's bad, but this is my, like, 20% out of my 80-20 to have some cordial. You're on camera! Um, I am doing 80-20%, so maybe I could fit in a lean kitchen. Because it's, it is good food, it is healthy. It is, and, and you, could get, you can get whole food. I can't have. Oh, my favourite oh. is a wrap. No, I know, because it has other ingredients in. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to have a salad. Okay. Some rice is okay, yeah. Okay. So one day we need to fit that in. <laughs> yeah, okay. It can be today, it can be Wednesday. We'll go today. Okay, <laughs> should we go today? Oh, yeah. It's okay, it's only Monday. <laughs> I literally just set up my camera ever so quickly. I don't know if you could even see me. My friends just rang me going, Lucy's off work this week in the day and she never is. And she's like, do you want to go out for food? And I'm like, oh my freaking God, I've literally just started doing this video, the whole food video. But we are going to a healthy place and it is mainly whole foods. It's just like, I obviously don't know the ingredients in, but this is my 80-20. Please don't hate me for this. I promise every other day will be proper whole foods. Today is just like, not being written off because it is that and I'm going to find that mainly one ingredient foods but my favourite steak wrap I can't have because I can't have wraps. To be fair I'm looking at the menu not that you can see it's like a healthy place and it has the calories, protein, fats and carbs and I can literally get nearly anything or I can make my own which is literally whole foods except the sauce. I'm trying to grow the quads, it's not working. Thank you. The meal I had was satay and rice. The, it, was, it was homemade satay sauce, all whole foods. Rice is a whole food. And then prawns and like spring onion on top so i was buzzing that whole meal was perfect for this video it was very nice but the need for a protein bar right now is literally through the roof like i just need chocolate i need i i, I need a dessert so i'm gonna go and have to make one look at like all my protein bars are. we're gonna make a massive fruit salad sit in the fridge and i'm just gonna snack on it throughout every single day of this video right now i'm gonna tackle my way through this oh, i can't even get it found a rice cake tiramisu whole food dessert we're gonna try and make it i've got so many recipes spinning in my head but i don't know which one to choose decided to film loads of whole food content recipes so this is the recipe i just made so basically you got rice cakes dipped it in coffee had yogurt and honey rice cake dipped in coffee Honey and Greek yogurt, rice cake, same again, same again. And then just adding some cocoa powder on top. I've just attempted to make this track bar, my own. Oats, peanut butter, Greek yogurt and honey with dark chocolate on the top. These, This is going to be my snack throughout the week. 
Here's a close up of the snack I'll be eating this week compared to the bar I was trying to make. Very flimsy in my hand, I can't lie. This is a lot more nutty because it's got loads of peanut butter in compared to this that I remember. It's still good. But weird because I'm in the same outfit for every single one of these recipes, probably. I have just made this tray to snack on throughout the whole video. So bananas and peanut butter, strawberries, dark chocolate, Greek yogurt, strawberries, banana, rice cakes. I'm just going to live in the fridge all week. I'm just making my tea. So I've got a salad, minced meat sweet potatoes cooking i'm cooking my mincemeat and i can't even put chopped tomatoes in because they have citric acid in this is literally how my tea's turned out to be literally don't think i can eat this without any sauce like i'm thinking of using my 80 20 rule by adding sauce i mean it's not the worst hello everyone it's tuesday in breakfast we're having just oats and I'm going to put golden syrup in, reason cinnamon. I don't know what combination to do today. I'm going to have quite a bit of oats. I'm going to have 110 grams. For While my oats are cooking, today I am working 12 till 6. It's 10 o'clock. I'm going to eat this, wait a little bit, go for a run. Today's food is literally going to be the same as my normal day of food, except instead of protein bars, I'm going to have what I made yesterday. So oats. I'm taking to work oats, chicken, potatoes, veg. I only have a protein bar after that, but I'm gonna have, I'm gonna take one of my like little protein bars that I made. Oats, cinnamon, and blueberries. I did try it for the TikTok that I'm filming. It's just not sweet enough for me, and I don't actually like fruit in my oats, but it's not as bad as I thought it was. This is my lunch for work. I say it is raining, it is literally lashing it down, so I'm not going to go for my run because I can't run on a treadmill and I need to go to work in like an hour so I can't get to the gym or I'm get home. I would have just done it outside, so I'm not going to run. I'm going to just tidy my room instead. Everyone, it's Tuesday evening. I've got in from work, just got in from a walk with my friend. I'm going to meet her after, but we're cooking tea separately. We normally cook together on a Tuesday, but she's ditched me. Anyway, I've just been to the shops to get more strawberries, more potatoes, more mushrooms. The thing is with this like video and like eating whole foods, one thing's got a date and you have to get fresh, obviously food. So like a lot of food waste if you don't eat it all. And it's expensive. Like it cost me seven pounds for two packs of mushrooms and I have a pack like every single time I have mushrooms, which is basically every day nearly. These were really expensive because like same through sinus because that's the only shop in my little village that I can like walk to. And then strawberries, obviously they're quite expensive. Make my tea now. I think I'm just gonna have chicken, broccoli, rice, proper gym lad meal. Snacking on a few of these. We've got this bag of whole grain rice. I'm pretty sure it is a whole food. It literally, the ingredients, it has like two ingredients, so I'm classing it. Broccoli and chicken. My tea is literally drowned in soy sauce. <laughs> it is good. I've got 400 grams of chicken in here and I've already had like 300 grams for my lunch. So not very good because I feel like that's way too much. That took me about half an hour to eat. For my dessert, I have apple with cinnamon on and this whole tub of this high protein thing from Tesco. I'm thinking I'm gonna put some golden syrup in there. Breakfast, a bit of a boring one. I'm just having banana, golden syrup and oats. I've just tried it for the TikTok. I put so much golden syrup in and it's still not sweet enough because of the amount of oats I've got. But I'm just going to have to eat it. I can't put so much golden syrup in. And in from the gym, let me show you something though. Look at my veins at the gym. I mean, it's like this. I'm not saying this is a whole food diet because it isn't. But the like extra sugar from like golden syrup and sh the carbs running through me will probably be making my veins like that then went to Aldi and oh, I just miss all the sauces. Anyway, I'm about to make lunch. I'm going to try and make what's going round at the minute. Cottage cheese and egg 
wraps. So basically two eggs, top of cottage cheese, blend, put on some like paper, put in the oven and it's meant to make like a wrap and then I'm gonna put like stuff in it. My blender has decided to stop working. So I'm like, this is cottage cheese and the eggs and I just need to like whisk, mix it myself. And then I'm gonna put it on here and put it in the oven to try and make it a wrap. Oh, my like base is in the oven. I'm gonna fry some mushrooms, courgettes and peppers in this tomato passata sauce because literally the ingredients literally just says tomato puree. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna fry them and then add chicken and this is gonna be the filling for the wrap. This is what it looks like. It's burning my hands. Try and get it out but it's like at the end it's coming off like a wrap but like in the middle it's like stuck. So I don't it would come off as a wrap if I left it in the oven a bit longer, but I can't. I'm hungry and I need to go to work. Oh my god, no, it's actually working. On earth, just happened. <laughs> no, 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 look what I've made. A little bit of asparagus on the side. It's like a literally like a pizza calzone thing. That is really good. I mean, it could do with ketchup, which obviously I can't have. Oh, I'm going to put some salt on, actually. Or maybe some soy sauce. That was beautiful. A full tub of this Greek yoghurt and then some mango chunks. But I am about to go to work, so I want to show you what I'm going to take to work to eat. And then after that... I shall see you tomorrow. A lot of food. I've got dark chocolate in case I want something like snacky. Some strawberries. I've got more oats. I've got a tub of quark, which basically tastes like yogurt. So I'm going to have that with honey. And then in there, I've got chicken, potatoes and mushrooms. I've just gotten ready for the day. Look how cute this outfit is. It's from Define, Code Katie. I normally tag them in on my videos. Um, these are the new purple shorts. Say new, they've been out a little bit. And this is the, I wear one of these tops every single day. I have green, white, black, or blue. And I literally love them. So this is like my staple gym outfit. But I've just got ready before I go downstairs and make breakfast. We are making pancakes this morning. There we go. These are the ingredients. So we've got honey, eggs, a mashed up banana, and self-raising flour. So I'm just about to finish my pancakes. This is what I have left of like my snack tray, but it needs eating like the bananas are going off because it is Thursday and I made it on Monday. I have eaten it throughout the week, but I'm going to put the bananas and stuff on top of my pancakes for the decoration so they don't reuse another banana because there's a banana in the pancakes anyway and I don't want to waste. You can see behind the screen it doesn't look pretty anymore, so this is what it did look like. I completely forgot to film on my camera, but I've mashed it all up to make the flavour everywhere. The chocolate bits with the banana. This is getting very repetitive now, but it is lunchtime. I'm gonna do both of these salmons with rice, I think, even though I was slagging off rice the other day and I don't actually like it. I just I'm making pasta tomorrow, so I'm just I'm just having the rice that I bought today. I use olive oil again because as you can see the salmon was about to stick, but I really don't want the grey bit on, but you meant to keep it on because I've just tried to peel it off and I just could not do it. Right, so this is one salmon. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I've had to move it because it was spitting at me. That, that literally hurt the, all, the boiling olive oil. While the salmon cooks, I've got my rice. I'm just going to pop this in the microwave. And then I'm also going to put some veg on the side that I also need to microwave. The little bit of rice that is in the bag. I'm sorry, that is a joke. That's not filling anyone up. That's my broccoli. I'm gonna have to be fair. I'm gonna have to double over it. My lunch, I've drowned it in soy sauce. It's very high calories because they're like 200 each plus oil. The rice is 400 and then broccoli, that's basically nothing, but you know. Broccoli and soy sauce, unreal. Let's try some of the salmon. It's just flaking. It's really good. This is my dessert for my whole food diet. So I've got the high protein, 
I can't say that, fromage fraise. This is exactly what I had yesterday as well. And then instead of mango yesterday, instead of mango like yesterday, I have grapes today. I'm not being funny. Just give me some chocolate and some pro uh, protein bar. Days. So I really want to have these. Am I allowed them? Because the ingredients are water, natural flavour and sweetener, which I don't think is too bad because I'm doing 80-20 for this diet. I've finished. I'm not hungry, like I'm literally really full, but I just need one of my protein bars because I, want, I just want something nice, like more enjoyable than yoghurt. to go to work again in about an hour i've got the same tea as yesterday this is how i'm looking on the last day right i don't know why the scale weight has gone up so much because obviously i'm eating so many more calories than i'm used to even though i do eat quite high just because i'm using honey instead of sweeteners and just like i don't know so much the scale weight's gone up but i'm also i've eaten so much more salt as well so we'll see i'm a bit annoyed at myself because the day before this challenge started i ate so much and it was so much processed stuff like the amount of protein bars i ate like was absurd just because i was starving that day um so i'm a bit annoyed because i don't know if the scale weight was because of that or is it's because of the whole food diet well it will be because i'm eating so many more calories but I don't feel any different look-wise. This feels tighter, to be fair. But I've just had the longest sleep of my life. Anyway, these shorts are defined, code Katie. They're absolutely stunning. Am I so bad at updating the camera? I completely forgot to show you my breakfast. I've got three boiled eggs that I've already eaten. Two of them, I've got one left. And I've got these like hash brown... Oh, hash brown sweet potato things so basically i put the sweet potatoes in the microwave flatten them put cheese in a frying pan with olive oil and then put the hash the sweet potato mashed squashed on top and then flip them over flip them over and this is what it made two of these i mean i didn't cook it for long enough so it's a bit mushy inside i wanted it to be like crunchy but no <laughs> my lunch so i've made like chicken and veg stuffed peppers and then i have tuna that is quark which is like fat free cottage cheese basically because i can't have mayo i really miss mayo i need sauce on this and then baby corn and pasta this pasta is actually one whole food thingy so very impressed i've just tried it on tiktok not not like if i mix it in it won't be dry like the tuna and everything but is a little bit dry this however is insane you're gonna have to go and watch my tiktok to find out how i made it tea for work again is the exact same good brownies i just don't think they could be 100 yeah. um, to end this video this video has done exactly what i wanted it to do I will start cooking more. I will start eating better rather than just like ready meals because the food I cooked, I loved this week. I did feel really good all week, but I can't really tell that much of a difference. I have gained weight on the scale because obviously I've been eating so many more calories. Um, but yeah, it is really good. And obviously whole foods are amazing for you. I haven't seen that much difference just in a week, but obviously over time you probably could. Um, I might actually do make this extend this video another time so then I can see like proper more results but I don't actually know what else I had to say thank you so much for watching this video if I do have anything else to say I'll just put it on screen and can't wait for my next video